Have you ever had a small spill that you need to clean up? You'd like to use a vacuum, but you either don't have a wet vac, or you have a wet dry vac that has dry stuff in it, and you don't really want to empty it all out. Uh, and possibly also this uh, spill is in, a, is in a, an inconvenient place, like a basement or something. And here you see I have a, a vacuum that's got dry sawdust in it, and it's got um, the dry filter on it, and it's, uh, it's just sitting here ready to be used, but I don't want to change it over to the wet filter and do all of those kinds of things. And so I'm going to demonstrate a system here that helps to address some of these uh, concerns. What I have come up with is a way to use a regular five gallon bucket with a lid adapter. And so this adapter is simply that. It's a, an adapter that drops onto your five gallon bucket, snaps in place, handle can be used to lift and move it around. And you'll notice a very key element here to this system, which is a check valve. And this check valve is what you'll find in any shop vac that keeps the water from getting sucked up into the head. Well, this isolates it even further from that. Simply snap that on, put your suction into the proper side the uh, five gallon bucket suction into this side and now here I have about seven gallons of water. So I turn on the shop vac, uh, I put the five gallon pail suction into the water and as it fills up what will happen is that as it hits the check valve float the float will rise and it will close off the inlet into the shop vac thereby protecting the shop vac. Um, and you can kind of see that you'll actually see a little bit of movement in the hose when that happens. And so I'm sort of emptying it out and we're stopping the shop back. Set this aside and we can see we now have a five gallon pail full of water. And better yet, we have a completely dry filter, same sawdust is just as dry as it before. Also useful is that we can now uh, move this five gallon pail with relative ease compared to this giant uh, vessel that contains maybe 15 or 20 gallons. Very difficult to move around. You could also put a lid on that five gallon pail and make it even easier to move without sloshing. And this system could be adapted to be used with uh, a regular vacuum, a uh, household vacuum as well. What we're demonstrating now is the vacuum system hooked up to an ordinary um, household vacuum. And you can see it, uh, that we're good and dry. This is actually after four uh, vacuums um, of a five gallon pail full of water. Um, and it's extremely dry still. And, uh, so I'll demonstrate, and uh, it's a very simple vacuum uh, inlet. The dry side is hooked into the inlet where the check valve is. Dry. <laughs> and then, of course, the uh, vacuum side over here. Turn this on. I like to lift this up and empty it out. It makes it nicer if you're gonna lift, take the lid off here. And you see I've modified that check valve slightly with a piece of duct tape just to uh, make the level a little bit lower here in the pail. The vacuum is open and you can see that there is no, no water has come in, no moisture has come in to the system.